Today we're going to go over how we take an enamic implant solutions block and bond it to the tie base. First step, take your tie base, connect it to your implant replica using the appropriate retaining screw that came with your tie base assembly. Take your finished restoration. Ideally, you would polish it with enamic stains, glaze, or you would hand polish it. We'll position it over the tie base. Your tie base has a very small notch on the axial wall that has to be lined up to the milled out notch inside the crown, the chimney. The connection between the implant replica and your tie base, the collar of your tie base, must be flush. Using a water-based pen, scribe mark a line from the crown onto the replica. This will ensure proper alignment when we go to adhesively bond the restoration to the tie base. Use Teflon tape or a cotton pellet to protect the chimney. You need to treat the axial wall of the tie base by sandblasting appropriately. You want to block out the collar so that you don't remove the precision finish of the cuff of the tie base. Sandblast the surface of the tie base that the adhesive system will be bonded to. Using a hydrofluoric acid, in this example, Vita Ceramics Etch, 5% hydrofluoric acid. We apply the etch to the inside or the intaglio of the restoration. At the 60 second mark, rinse the hydrofluoric acid out of the restoration. Silenate the etched area in the intaglio of the restoration. We're gonna use, in this case example, we're gonna use multi-link hybrid abutment, self-carrying looting composite, seal, the margin, remove any excess, apply a glycerin gel to the joint to prevent an oxygen inhibited layer. Firmly hold the two components together using your operatory curing light. You want to begin curing the adhesive just to tack it down. Repolish the joint and the anamic IS restoration to remove any excess adhesive and your marking line. Remove your Teflon. Remove the restoration from the implant replica. After that's complete, you're finished. 